My model railroad depicts logging in the Sacramento Mountains around the town of Cloudcroft. But the story would be incomplete without including Mescalero Apache Indian Reservation just north of Cloudcroft. In 1873, President Ulysses Grant established the Mescalero Reservation by executive order with headquarters at Fort Stanton. At the beginning, all did not go well at the Indian Agency. Trouble broke out between Anglo and Mexican squatters. Cattle rustling left the Mescalero Indians without food for weeks at a time. Despite the difficulties, there were positive developments. Mescaleros were becoming a part of the fabric of the region. A Catholic priest and native of Lincoln County baptized 173 Apaches establishing Christianity on the reservation. Missionaries regularly visited the Mescalero Reservation to spread Christianity, help protect Aboriginal rights, and later to help with reservation schools. In 1875, a new executive order extended the reservation into the Sacramento Mountains, due in large part to a sympathetic Indian commissioner, Francis A. Walker. Because of his decision, the Mescalero now had something of value to trade, logging rights. By 1902, the Mescaleros were able to make a meager living for themselves on the reservations, and their children were permitted to attend reservation schools. But by 1909, Mescalero lands were in real danger of being usurped by gold and land-hungry Anglos using the 1887 Dawes Act that allowed parcel claims within the reservation boundaries. Indians have lived in this part of the country for centuries. Now that the buffalo had been wiped out, they are looking for the cattle as a food supply. In 1920, the Mescalero Indian Service wanted to sell $500,000 of tribal timber for re reinvestment in a 10,000 head tribal herd. Ben Longwell of the Cloudcroft Land and Lumber Company bid the minimum permitted and obtained the contract. The area concerned was only a few miles northeast of Cloudcroft among uh, some 30,000 acres of timberland. Cloudcroft Land and Lumber Company began shipping logs to the mills from the Mescalero Apache Indian Reservation in 1924. By all accounts, the timber on the Mescalero Reservation were of good marketable quality but the cost of logging and shipping were high with a 35-mile rail haul. In a little over a year after it began shipping logs, the CLNL was in receivership. By the spring of 1926, the George Brees Lumber Company took over the assets and the property of the CLNL. Despite agriculture and housing successes in the 1930s, the Mescalero population saw few improvements through the Depression and the Second World War. But because of the Indian Claims Commission Act in 1946, the Mescalero Apache tribe entered a petition for loss of tribal land back in 1909 and won an $8.5 .8 million settlement. This enabled the tribe to develop an outdoor sports enterprise for tourists and upgrade schools and water supplies. In 1963, the tribe purchased the Ski Apache Resort and in 1974 built the Inn of the Mountain Gods, a resort complete with hotel, restaurants, lake, and golf course. The Mescalera Indians still breed cattle are successful resort owners and support the St. Joseph Apache Mission. Cloudcroft is now a resort town and attracts tourists from all over the world. Cloudcroft Pavilion is still around to accommodate the tourists drawn to the clean, crisp air in the Sacramento Mountains.